Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 12. So yesterday, we started in on our Smart Plans applet, and today we're going to continue on. So let's go ahead and dive into the Smart Plans applet, and I'd like to show you the library in today's video. So right now, you can see that we have the smart plan that I demoed for you yesterday inside of our people plans underneath our personal account. We've got that one smart plan. That's the one that we kind of played around with yesterday that I showed you. It's completely blank. I could remove it if I wanted to. But if I wanted additional smart plans, I have a choice. I can go create some additional ones like I showed you yesterday, or I can go find smart plans that have been previously created and then adopt them for my use. You can do that by visiting the Smart Plan Library. When we click on the library, we're going to get three main sections. So you've got the Featured section, which has about 10 Smart Plans that are extremely popular with agents. You can see based upon the number of downloads and five-star reviews as well. If you continue down, you've got 10 Smart Plans that Keller Williams has developed for your use. These are all lead gen and lead follow-up based smart plans for the most part. You've got some top rated smart plans and then the most recently updated or uploaded smart plans as well. Today, I really want to focus on, on in on this Keller Williams section. So these 10 smart plans, I think, are 10 of the most impactful that you could use inside of your business. We're going to do a run through on the majority of these here in the near future. But I wanted to draw your attention. You can start playing around, getting to know these better, because we're actually going to do a walkthrough on the majority of these over the next couple of days. So to go through, obviously, you can just click on this list. You can also click on See All, and it'll bring them all up on one page as well. In addition, if you're looking for a smart plan that maybe you are aware of, but you cannot find, you can always go in and do a search. So we're going to reset these filters here. If I know maybe the author's name, I could come in and search for the author's name, right? So um, my good friend Mike Hillary has several smart plans, I'm pretty sure. So let's look up Mike's. And there you go. There are seven smart plans that Mike has created. I could also go in and look up an actual subject matter Right, so the original option was smart plan name. So let's say we were looking for something, uh, maybe we're gonna run some Facebook ads in the future. If I type in the word Facebook, you can see I get 591 smart plans with the word Facebook. Maybe I'm gonna do an open house and I want some smart plans to follow up on that. Here's 229 smart plans around open house. Maybe it's expired. And type in the word expired. Well, we only have one in there. Maybe the word expired will get us a few names, a few more. There we go. 41 smart plans with the word expired. Finally, you can also search for the description. So that was just the name. If we search the description, we're going to get 41 there, and you can go through that whole setup as well. In addition to search, you do have a filter. So maybe we want to search again for Facebook. We're gonna get 591, but we wanna filter that result down. And you can click on filter and then see that you've got duration filters. You can choose a specific author. You can filter by the number of touches that the smart plan actually has. You can filter by the number of agents that have downloaded the smart plan. And then you can also filter by the rating. So let's say we wanted uh, at least three stars or better and we want at least 250 agents to have downloaded it. We started with 591, now we're down to six. So that was a pretty quick and easy way to kind of filter through those smart plans. And you can do that in any one of the words that you are searching for. We've also even got categories here. So you've got featured, most used, top rated, and newest as well. Anytime you want to see what a smart plan is all about, you can view the steps of the smart plan simply by clicking on view steps. That's going to show you what the smart plan includes. So if there's an automatic text, it'll tell you what that text says. If there are any delays, it'll show the delays. 
If there are any tasks involved, it'll show you the touch task, what that looks like. You've got call tasks that might be included. You could have emails included. Remember how I showed you, you could add someone to a second smart plan within a smart plan. Here's an example of what that looks like. And anytime you're reviewing a smart plan and you decide, I like this smart plan and I want to use it for my business, you would simply then click on add smart plan. If the smart plan connects to another smart plan, then you are going to be asked to download that one first. So we don't have the monthly neighborhood nurture yet. We'll be asked to download. And now that we've downloaded this one, we can download the eight by eight. And that's gonna give us the opportunity. If we go back to my smart plans, it should have added two. The first one being my monthly neighborhood nurture. And then the second one being the eight by eight. We'll walk through how you can make edits to these smart plans and then apply contacts coming up tomorrow. But for now, as always, it is fantastic speaking with you. Jump into this smart plan library, learn a little bit about what's available. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking to you again real soon.